What's up you guys? Chase the Dark Sage here, back with another Funko Pop review of All For One with Battle Hand. But before I get into it, let me let my intro play. Let's go. Alright you guys, so let's get into Big Apple Collectibles exclusive off one from the My Hero Academia series. This is number 646 in the My Hero Academia line. This is one of the most sought after exclusives and I let's give a let's give a round of applause. <laughs> Big Apple Collectibles, you said what you was gonna do and you did it. You made right on your word, they got new management, they I guess turn around the bad uh, things that were being said about the company and this manager that's taken over. He's doing great things, I guess, because I literally pre-ordered this last week. I just got it in the mail today, which is Tuesday, and uh, it came in pristine condition, guys. I suggest you go pick this up. I'll put the link in the buy, I mean, in the description of the video, so you can go pick it up if you want. It also could come with a protector, but I chose not to get it with, with a protector. But you know, let's go ahead and get into the pop. This is all for one. This is All Might's basically arch enemy or nemesis. This is the person that basically created the uh, one for all or all for one power that. Um, All Might has, and this was one of the greatest fights in My Hero Academia. I think this was probably the best fight. This I know this is my favorite fight, and uh, this is different from the original because you know the original. If you've seen my uh, previous review before, click in the top right if you're on mobile. You see that uh, he just basically has his hands up saying, you know, come at me, bro, basically. But on this one, he's like, okay, I got this battle handout, and I'm and I'm coming after you. You can see it in the scene that I'm about to play right now. I'm coming for you. <laughs> I don't think so, because I am here. And yes, I know that scene was pretty great and it was pretty intense. I just love the way that this battle hand looks. Now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie guys. There's not much difference in this pop. Especially like right here where I mean he has his hand down, of course, but he also just has his battle hand out. And that's what just makes this different. I kinda wish it was coming at you more but just pointing down, which I don't have a problem with, but you know, like I said, expectations versus what's, you know, really actually gonna happen. But let's go ahead and look, get a look at the pop, guys. Um, right here, you see that basically it's the same mold as the last one, so I really don't have to get in depth about this one. You could, like I said, you could go check out my review of off one, the regular one. This time he has his hands down, and I'm not gonna lie, there are some paint mishaps and defects on this one. Like right here with his hand, y'all probably y'all probably can't see it with this bright light, but um, it's a little paint mix up. It's a little blue in between the fingers, and it's a little blue right here where the suit is barely touching the the white his white undershirt and this uh this little uh his skin right here. Uh, also, you know, obviously this is gonna be hard, but there's a little bit of blue on his skin right here as well. Um, it looks all right back here, guys. Now this is where the real thing comes in. It depends on if you're really a perfectionist. Or completionist. I'm a completionist. I'm not really a perfectionist, so I really don't care about paint mishaps that bad unless they're like super noticeable. And this one isn't super noticeable, especially since I keep these in box. But you can see right here, like a little bit of the black smears over to his skin right here, which isn't a problem to me. But like I said, for someone that collects out of box and is really firm on the details of pops, you know, it might be a problem for you. Now let's talk about the hand. The I guess you could say the most important thing about this pop is and what makes this such an exclusive. Um, I really like the painting and the detail on this hand right here. I like the little uh, pattern. Obviously, none of them are going to be perfect, but this really looks nice, and I really love this part of the pop. This is my favorite part of the pop, obviously, because this is the most changed of the pop besides his pose. But nothing much to say about this one, guys. I just want to say shout out to Big Collectible. Y'all really turned it around. Y'all, y'all are doing pretty good. Keep doing it good. I might have to buy something else from y'all. I don't know. I don't know, but we'll see. Go ahead and uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, tell me what you think about this pop. Tell me if you guys are actually collecting My Hero. Is there too many of My Heroes? Are the exclusives like not really special enough for you to pick them up? If you can see on the uh, right of the pop, you can see some of my previous videos on my most recent upload. And probably at the bottom is the best view viewed video for you, basically. On the bottom left, it should be my icon. You click on that, you can subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and subscribe. Come on, we do pop reviews, pop hunts. And you know, we just, we just have a good time talking. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Dark Sage Collections, guys. And that'll be it. Thanks for watching. Peace.